Okay, recording this video on Tuesday, 26th of October 2010, and it's just gone 11 a.m. I'm done trading for the day, and there was a very good example today of a Wyckoff principle called jumping the creek or crossing the creek, and I just thought it'd be useful to record a video about that. Just pulled up my 1500 tip bar chart of the E mini. And you can see yesterday we kind of sold off. We had kind of all kinds of exhaustion selling uh, at the end of Monday's trade. And then overnight the uh, market continued to weaken down here. We kind of got down into the 76, uh, 74 type levels here. And then after the open, uh, we had a pullback and a downtrend signal on the 1500 tip bar chart. Normally this is kind of a high probability trade, although there wasn't a lot of other kind of signals uh, to uh, suggest that it was a good kind of cyclical turn. There are no kind of professional bars, amateur bars, you know, um, volume accumulation distribution type patterns here. I went short at uh, 75.50, uh, which uh, was not a particularly uh, good entry or good trade at all. But what happened after that was, was quite important and instructive. And if I just uh, open this up a little bit, at this vertical uh, dotted line, you can see there's a professional blue bar. So we'd kind of moved down, started to uh, move back down to test these lows. We had an amateur bar uh, that kind of uh, just poked below the lows of these last couple of bars. And then we started to reverse and close above uh, that amateur bar there. And then we had a professional bar, this blue professional bar here, uh, that pushed on through this pullback cyclical resistance level. And that forms support. And at that point, what's that, that called? Wyckoff was you know, a very insightful man when he uh, was looking at kind of uh, market structure. And this is what he called a jumping the creek or crossing the creek. This support resistant line, line becomes extremely important at this point. And that professional blue up bar there is actually professionals getting on board a change in trend. And you can see the market advanced you know, pretty strongly, and we've had a pretty uh, strong uh, morning uh, as a result of that. And what uh, that professional blue bar kind of signals is that um, the professionals have identified that the, uh, the low is in, and they want to get on board this uh, move really quickly. It happened to be you know, just before uh, the consumer confidence numbers kind of came out at uh, 9 a.m. I reversed my short trade for a loss of uh, one, uh, one and three quarter points, which I didn't enjoy at all. But I was quite pleased with myself. I got on board this long trade and I held through uh, this um, kind of testing of the lows and held through the, cons the release of the consumer confidence numbers and made a three point trade on this up move here. Now I did get out way too early, as is my you know, weakness, uh, but it was a good entry uh, and a good hold for uh, a nice little kind of reversal trade. Uh, we subsequently kind of tested back down to this pullback level. Again, a nice little entry here for, for me for a nice three-point trade. Uh, everything was kind of going right at this cyclical turning point here. We've got a pullback and an uptrend. We've got a professional blue bar signaling the professionals are getting in. We've got a stopping volume pattern showing that the move is kind of decelerating and likely to uh, uh, reverse. And we've got a Rambo pattern just before that showing that the amateurs are kind of getting involved, way, you know, expecting a, a downtrend to continue and in fact just reverses and retests the highs. And that was the signal to get out again at the, another cyclical turning point, an end of trend warning signal, professional blue bar and a flush signal. So all of these things, you know, price uh, professional um, average trade size and volume accumulation, uh, volume traded at the bid and the ask, all those three kind of non-correlated indicators kind of coming together. And I'll just show you the uh, 500 tip bar chart, exactly the same move uh, down here, this kind of crossing uh, the creek or jumping the creek signal here. This was the beginning of the day. We kind of tested down a whole series of kind of exhaustion selling signals here. We're retesting lower again. We get a flush signal here, flushing out all the sellers at this point. And there's that uh, blue bar, you know, at this kind of resistance level here breaking through there to new highs. We test on amateurs, kind of coming back into this cyclical turning point, and then the market just starts to break and, and really starts to run hard uh, after the consumer confidence uh, numbers kind of come out. So there we go, that's a uh, jumping the creek or crossing the creek uh, signal. Uh, the reverse of that, the inverse of that, if uh, we're breaking into a downtrend, is called falling through the ice, according to Wyckoff. That was his kind of terminology, and I particularly like those terminologies because it does express exactly what's happening here. We're jumping across the creek into an uptrend here. And I've just uh, tacked on to the end of this video the, uh, the trades that I was making at that point. So I uh, hope your trading went well today. Okay, I just went short at 11.75.50. Uh, just checking stops and targets. 
I'm probably a little bit early here, but um, I'm trying to play off this cyclical turn on the 1500 tip bar chart, which should be a pullback and a downtrend uh, kind of signal, but uh, would have been nice to have this one with a professional blue bar. We had a couple of professional blue bars at the high. This one was kind of getting the move going. We came back, retested, and the professional is kind of active there, but we didn't get one here and didn't get a turn here. You know, we're in a downtrend. Uh, we're kind of broken below uh, cyclical support levels and so on. Yes, we've got exhaustion selling on the downside here, uh, which kind of uh, formed a little bit of a bounce at 74. Uh, but, you know, um, yeah, we're kind of coming back up. We'll see that possibly, you know, I should have waited for this entry, but, uh, you know, we'll see how this plays. Okay, we just reversed long uh, at 77 and a quarter, which uh, was not uh, a good exit or a good entry, so I was kind of uh, way too early uh, on uh, uh, this trade here. Should have been waiting for a professional blue bar. And um, we've now kind of had a break, uh, plus all of these signals are kind of going against me. We had kind of exhaustion uh, selling, um, putting in lows at 74. We had a flush signal here uh, when we kind of retested. And this is uh, jumping over the creek at this point with this professional blue bar kind of going up through cyclical uh, resistance and this pullback level at 76. So that was a loss of um, one and three quarter points. Uh, we're long 77.25, so let's see what happens next. Okay, we just had, uh, well, we had the consumer confidence uh, kind of numbers come in well, through that release. Uh, not my normal style, but uh, we kind of are holding above this uh, cyclical resistance level, which now kind of turned into support, and this breakdown here was on, you know, kind of amateur testing down here. We just had exhaustion buying, bearish divergence. We've got professional blue bars up here, plus we've got a professional bar coming out on the 4500 tip bar chart. I'm just hoping for a tiny little pop up through uh, 1180 to 1180 quarter, and then I'll be out for three points. That's what I'm hoping for. So, uh, got a little bit of support happening here. Just need another little uh, push, and that'd be really nice. Okay, we're out at 80.25 uh, for three points, and maybe I should have held to 81, who knows. Um, had to sit through a little bit of garbage uh, here on the 500 tip bar chart, this retrace. But all of that retrace was being led by the amateurs there. You can see all these kind of amateur Rambo uh, patterns here. Uh, and then even this little pullback here was being led by the amateurs and then we kind of pushed through but the professionals kind of come back in we've got professional blue bars 1500 4500 tip bar chart and we've got a cyclical turn uh, happening here and we just had a flush signal so actually you know 8025 I'm I'm happy with that uh, so let's see if we're going to get uh, some kind of uh, tr change in trend okay we're long at uh, 79 and a quarter just checking stops and targets. The reason for getting long is we've got a uh, cyclical turn here on the 1500 tip bar chart. We've had this strong uptrend. We kind of uh, came into this cyclical turning point on the 4500 tip bar chart with all these blue professional bars, and yeah, that was a signal for a change in trend uh, after getting kind of exhaustion buying and bearish divergence signals and so on. And then we're coming down to a uh, retracement. We're going to have a pullback in an uptrend signal come in here. And a nice series little, of little signals here. We've got kind of Rambo patterns kind of moving into new lows. Rambo's uh, rev potential reversal of an amateur breakout. Got a stopping volume pattern here. Another professional blue bar down here. Uh, on the 500 tip bar chart, we've got a whole series of professional blue bars and bullish divergence. And we just had another one signal on the 4500 tip bar chart. So this one might run uh, for a couple of points. Um, you know, really what we're, I'm playing, ought to be playing here, is this uh, cyclical turn. So uh, a pullback here leading to an end of trend on the 1500 tip bar chart. So let's see if this works out. Okay, well there we go. We're out at uh, 82.25. And uh, that's for three points. I suppose I'm out a fraction early, but a couple of reasons for it. First, we've got a whole series of uh, professional blue bars coming up uh, into this 82.83 level. Bearish divergence up here, profit taking and so on. But we got a flush signal here on the 1500 tip bar chart just above as we uh, kind of pushed. It was actually just before uh, this professional blue bar here. 